in this video as part of bayesian learning let us see how to get hypothesis based on maximum likelihood concept and least squared error concept <laughs> under certain assumptions any learning algorithm that minimizes the squared error between the output hypothesis predictions and the training data will output a maximum likelihood hypothesis let us consider an example let target values be different from f of xi where f of xi is supposed to be target let us say that noise has added to f of xi and has caused di to be different what do we need is that when we feed some xi it should be classified correctly regardless of addition of noise a set of m training examples is provided where the target value of each example is corrupted by random noise where noise is of normal distribution each training example is a pair of the form xi comma di where di is equal to f of xi plus ea here f of xi is noise free value of the target function and ea is a random variable representing the noise it is assumed that the values of ea are drawn statistically independently and they are of zero mean normal distribution that is gaussian distribution the task of the learner is to output a maximum likelihood hypothesis or equivalently a map hypothesis assuming all hypotheses are equally probable a priori where we expect a map hypothesis will classify examples though uh, they are corrupted by noise we have hml is equal to r max sum of p of d by h where h is an element of capital h in our earlier examples p referred to probability but in this present discussion capital p refers to probability density function the idea of invoking probability density function is that earlier d could be assumed as a discrete as a discrete d could be or d's could be assumed as a discrete values but here d d's are expected to be continuous because d is equal to f of x i plus e though f of x is may be discrete since e is added to that and e is continuous the summation is expected to be continuous right so the target values what we get are expected to be continuous and in continuous distribution uh, we cannot assign probability to individual value as per concepts we the in continuous distribution the probability for a particular value is uh, invariably taken as zero so we have to come for we have to go for some probability density function and the uh, which is nothing but per unit of probability let us let us reasonably assume that training examples training examples are statistically independent given h in such a case uh, this summation can change to multiplication that is p of capital d by h can be written as product of uh, individual p of da by h which is a necessary condition for statistical independence that is hml that is hml is equal to r max h is an element of capital h pi i is equal to 1 to m p of di by h since e is gaussian di di is equal to f of x i plus e will also be gaussian the mean value of this is f of x i now we have this p of di by h uh, this means what is the probability that given a particular h that h will classify d uh, properly right since it is such a probability uh, we can 
change this f of x i to h of x i because anyway this is a probability how it is going to classify correctly right so we can uh, we can we can change this f of x i to h of x i right so the mean value can be written instead of as f of x i we can write it as h of x i now h m l Uh, by invoking these two concepts, that is Gaussian expression and f of x i is equal to h of x i. Now the mean will change to uh, h of x i. From f of x i, it will change to h of x i. Now we can write h i h m l as follows: h m l is equal to arc max h is an element of capital H, product of one by uh, root of two pi sigma squared e power minus one by two sigma squared d i minus h of x i the whole square. Now, computationally, this exp expression is complicated. Without changing this concept, we can replace this by a simpler expression. So, the one simple form is replacing this uh, multiplication by summation. How we can re replace this uh, multiplication by summation? That we can invoke the concept of logarithm. It is justified in to invoke the concept of logarithm because uh, when these values uh, start increasing. when these values increase the logarithm will also increase right the, the idea is for each hypothesis for, for each hypothesis we have to find this product instead of finding this product we can find the summation if this value is increasing the logarithm is also going to uh, increase so there is a justification to convert this uh, product into uh, the summation so hml is equal to arc max h is an element of capital h sum of natural logarithm 1 by root of 2 pi sigma square minus 1 by 2 sigma square di minus h of x i the whole square into log e to the base e now this is a constant so uh, th this can be removed because it will come for uh, every hypothesis this constant will come for every hypothesis and we need not keep this without this constant we shall do it so in that case hml is equal to arc max h is an element of capital h sum of minus 1 by 2 sigma squared di minus h of x i the whole square now we can convert this negative to positive when you convert this negative to positive here you have to change from uh, this arc max to arc minimum maximizing maximizing this negative quantity is equal under to minimizing the corresponding mod quantity or a positive quantity right in such a case we can write it as hml is equal to arg min h h is an element of capital h h is an element of capital h sum of 1 by 2 sigma squared di minus h of x i the whole square now these constants can be discarded again because if they are they are common for Uh, every h we are going to have this constant so we can remove this they are common for every uh, all h's so this 2 sigma squared all that can be removed so discarding constants that are independent of h hml is equal to arg min h is an element of capital h sigma i is equal to 1 to m uh, di minus h of x i the whole square so this is our Uh, hypothesis which will classify the noise corrupted examples uh, properly i hope you understood this uh, if you have understood this and if you like it please give a like for this thank you